All right, I thought there might be a cutscene on immediately entering here, but there wasn't. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and make a walkway this way. Worst fate a game can have is being disposably basically lacking replay value. Yeah, and that's the way that a lot of games have been coming out. <laughs> Over the past couple of years, I've felt a lot of the ones that I've been covering here and there. Boopity bop. I mean, this game here that I'm playing right now feels like it could potentially have some serious replay value if you want to use, like, new echoes in subsequent playthroughs or take challenges like I am with the bedless percent. Though I'm just doing it on my first playthrough. Like, if someone wants to try on a subsequent playthrough a bedless percent or just no long item percent at all, because now that I have the clouds, it has definitely eased the burden of bedless percent a whole lot, I will say. Um... How about you don't, actually? Because you are just going to one-shot me the moment you try. I already know. Parkour, parkour. Ooh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. The worst fate is Skull and Bones, the one and only Harmonia gave up on it. There have been other games that I have given up on due to me just not being into it, but not in a long time. Like, there have been some that I've given up on just because, like, I don't have the time to do it. Like, Pal World that I only did one session of, or Nightingale, where it's like, I just wanted to showcase them for one stream, just to showcase what they're like and acknowledge I don't have the time for a full playthrough. But in terms of ones that I'm getting bored, that I got bored of and just quit out because of that, there have been some. The biggest one that I can think of is, what was it called? Monster Hunter Double Cross? Monster Hunter Generations? Whatever that one that came out on the Switch in 2018 was. And I played it as like my first Monster Hunter game and I did like four or something streams of it and I played it with Anima a little bit at times and I was just like, yeah, I don't think this game is my cup of tea. I don't know if I can get into it. it seems way too long and grindy for me. And some people really like that. Like I know that a lot of people really like Monster Hunter, but it didn't really seem quite at my alley. I know that's probably not also like the best game to use as a use case. It's the only Monster Hunter game I've ever played, but I quit out on that. And I was like, I know this playthrough is going to take like forever if I commit to it and I'm just not having a massive ton of fun, so I'm quitting out. So that's one that I quit on. So I'm going to plan on streaming almost here at the end. It'll probably still be a little while before that, but I'll still keep on going for a while. Probably go late into the night like I did last night. Ah, screw it. Let's do this. Um, but yeah, let's just see here. You agree you like experimental, but honestly wouldn't even see Breath of the Wild as that experimental, especially compared to a lot of GameCube era, as it took a lot from Assassin's Creed, for instance. It's experimental for Zelda in terms of like... We're trying something new that this series has never tried before. It's hard to come up with like a completely, completely original idea in games nowadays with how much everything has been done. Yeah, Nuzlocke echoes every dungeon equals kills use echoes. That'd be an interesting idea. The GameCube era was amazingly, amazing, extremely experimental and yet took no hit to the quality. Oh yeah, GameCube games slap. Um, what are your thoughts on Nightingale? Your friends got you it so you could play it with them, but after the first session, not convinced of it yet. I know that there's still a lot of production to go on it. I, uh, I mostly wanted to try out Nightingale to try out, like, a locally made game. And it was also a company that I applied to after I, uh, graduated university. Evidently did not, uh, I did not get the position. But maybe it's something that I'll reapply to one day. And I've been to their studio. I've toured around their studio before. And it's a dog-friendly studio, which is really cool. And more incentive to, uh, want to potentially work there one day. And I've had, like, several lectures given by those that work at... In... Whoa! Uh, inflection formerly known as improbable. Please don't kill me. Oh my god, that was close. Um, that was probably not the way to go, was it? So, that's what got my interest in Nightingale, was, like, local thing where, like, I've been exposed to, like, a lot of the stuff from there through, like, nearby education here with the guest lecturers and stuff, and, uh, me literally applying to that company and wanting to get kind of familiar with what they make. I thought it was interesting, but, like, I've never done a playthrough, or even, like, before I started this channel, I've never played through, in general, a survival game. Like, I've never played Ark is a big one, or whatever other big survival games are. I don't know what other big survival games would be, unless you count Minecraft. Like, I've played a whole lot of that. Um, so, suddenly playing Pal World and Nightingale this year was, like, my first experience into, like, the survival kind of genre. It's funny that both of them are both ones that I just put in one session to, and then I was like, yeah, I don't have time. I guess I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah, that's something that I could switch to playing instead right now is Pal World, and then talk extensively about the lawsuit. Yeah, technically like a survivor, survival kind of thing. But in terms of non-Minecraft survival games, it was my first experience as that. I thought it was kind of interesting, 
but I think if I wasn't a content creator, I don't think it's the kind of thing that I could envision myself playing for more than like a couple, a couple sessions. Like I'll probably put in a couple just to see what it's like. But when I was at the point that I was at, at the end of that eight part series, that one long stream, I think I put like three and a half hours in, four hours, something like that. I was at the point where I had like a shack built. I had some tools for crafting. I would keep on working towards getting like better equipment and stuff. And that's it really. I think if I recall, there was like portals that I could go through and then I could go there and like fight bosses and stuff like that. But I just didn't really feel much drive to. So I think I got to the point where it's like I'm established, but now I just don't really have much drive to keep on doing more stuff. So I don't know how much it really pulled me in. There's definitely some elements that I thought were intriguing. Um, some of the elements definitely felt a little bit clunky, I will say. Do we have news about the lawsuit? Not as far as I'm aware here. Like, still awaiting some new news on that front. Um, I have chatted a decent bit with some of the Inflection staff at events I've gone to, like GameCon, where there's people there for that. And another local studio, Beamdog with Mythforce, that I did a full playthrough of on the channel. I chatted with them a decent bit as well, so... I like to try and get to know local studios and stuff here. Um, so that was kind of where my interest in Nightingale stemmed from. But I was like, yeah, there's no way I have time to do a full playthrough of this. And I don't know if I'd have like a massive ton of interest in doing it either. This is the case. Uh, we're close to my friends. I can sense it. No turning back now. All right. Interesting. Been working on a super big cutscene with the game. It includes final boss of chapter three, but it's a cop out fight. So it makes you think that there is the final battle of chapter three, but it's not. Basically says you suck, I'll be waiting for you elsewhere. Come and find me there. See you losers. Nice. That, that's what you've been working on for the past couple hours. Just making that thing with the game. Nice, nice. Anything is going to kill me right now. I guess there's no quarter hearts when you play in hero mode. And everything is doing like double damage. Um, Can you go fight over there while I go chill here and stuff? You can only do so much in Minecraft before you get bored. Yeah, but I'll have a lot more fun in Minecraft than I will in... Well, I mean, it depends on how I'm playing Minecraft. I feel like I'd have more fun playing Minecraft than I would Nightingale. But I feel like I'd probably have more fun playing Pal World than I would playing vanilla Minecraft. But I'd probably have more fun playing modded Minecraft than I would Pal World. Is what I feel like. That would be my ranking of, like, the few survival games that I've played. <laughs> is what I'd say. Oh, that's probably not the way to go then. Um, peace. Go. Get them. Ugh. I don't know how I caught that. I don't know. Ice keys? Oh my god. I get whoops thought you were talking about Minecraft. Just kind of dipping back and forth here. Never played that game, so wouldn't know anything about it. It's interesting. It'll be interesting to see how it continues to develop as they both continue to develop it. We shall see here. Um. I, where's my spear guys? I got like a level 2 spear guy earlier this stream, so I'd be somewhere at the end here, I think. Yeah. Put him down. Get him. Yeah, this is the way to go, right? Do I need to take them out? They're like dark purple, which sometimes means important. Oh, there's a thing here. Yoink. Wah! like Minecraft and not blocky and set up in 19th century England? Essentially. Whoa. Do I need to take them out for anything? Is it gonna do anything, I wonder? Whoa. Alright, there's nothing behind that rock. Are you gonna get them or not? I tire of this. Oh my god. I take no damage for this, so more than worth. Nope, I don't get anything for that. There's no point. It was just, there's the chest in the corner, it looks like. That's it. Alright, no point to this room. Yeah, once you finish up with the cutscene you're building here with the fight, can I do a quick video record and share it with you when I'm done? And then you can view it off stream if you like. Sure. Sounds good there. Hmm. Cloud well, seems kind of OP. That's what it kind of seems like. Oh, I guess I can't get up to there. Probably two or three minutes long. So long, but not super long. Hmm. 
Do that. Come on. Really? Screw it. Just... I don't know. Dang it. Do I have to go around that way? It's just a chest over there. Why don't I just go grab it? Like... <laughs> What? Why'd that one not spawn? Glad there's no fall damage. Like, abyss fall damage, that is. Not fall fall damage. Alright, there's the key. Let's go. Places to be and all that. That would definitely damage me, though. I do have to be fast with the clouds, because uh, they will despawn when I stay on them for too long. Hey, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Whoops, I thought I could make that jump. Uh, is that gonna cycle? It is gonna cycle. It looks like. And that's not gonna harm you. It doesn't seem here. Let me grab the chest really quickly. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay, um. Hey, a golden egg. Here. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I didn't realize it would come up that high. Oh, I probably do need to kill them. Get him. No, wrong thing. Please. <laughs> Just clutching it out there. I am almost dead here. Here, go. Go get him. Get them! Throw your weapon at them, dang it! Oh my god, this game, I swear. Okay, go get him really quickly. I know you'll do some good damage. Why do you jump on him and then- What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you attacking me? Oh, well, let's go ahead and ban that cheap viewers. I'm surprised that didn't even appear on the screen. I mean, I'm glad that it didn't, but, uh, oh my god. He's been outplayed. Oh! So completely outplayed. Okay, quickly now, kill them! There's one! The other one is all the way over there. I know you're going from no beard to full beard. Remind you of Kratos from God of War? Oh, that's what I'm gonna have to play now. Well, just have to do. Once I figure out the new family sharing that he jumped on them again immediately. Oh, and then he killed. Wait, but the door still isn't open. Wait, what? I know that for a uh, Christmas gift one year, I asked my cousin's older kiddo, like, if there's anything he'd like. And he was like, oh, I'm interested in the uh, new God of War game. And I was like, okay, well, I can uh, pick that up for you on Steam. Once we figure out the new family sharing, now that Steam Change Out Family Sharing works and get like a group going between me, my cousin, and his two kids, then I will then have in my library like the first of the new God of War games. If I ever did them, I'd probably want to do like some of the PlayStation ones first. <laughs> I mean, they're all PlayStation, uh, but like the PS2 kind of ones first. I do own the original God of War now. I think I bought it in Texas while I was down there. Like, if I ever played it, I just play it, like, on my PC on, like, an emulator for, like, better graphics and convenience rather than having to set up my PS2. I do own it. Do be the case. We. Wah. Wah. I know that you can play, like, the new ones as an isolate experience themselves. I mean, could always do that just for funsies. Uh-oh. Yikes. And then do the early ones if I ever feel like it, just because, like, they are their own stories. Like, obviously, the older ones are referenced in the newer ones at times. But, like, get Kratos to where he is at that point. Wah. Wah. But considering the individual stories are, like, the original games plus its own story of Kratos and his boy and the two new PS5 ones could probably do them individually and then enjoy those. Maybe, maybe. And then, uh, wah. then I guess I just get more story if I do the earlier stuff. Cause it's not like one of those game series is where it's like, 
you have to go in order to experience the story in the best way because it continues to progress and build off of one another. Like, it seems very much like they can be enjoyed standalone, and I've watched all the cutscenes of the new, uh, of the new God of War games, and it looked pretty sweet, I will say. I don't know. I don't know here. Uh, maybe I can block something there and then go up the ladder. Wait, or maybe I can just grab that chest straight up. So anyway, once we figure out the family sharing, I will technically have the first of the new God of War games in my library and technically could play it. All right, I got a map now. What? Is that going to be important? Chance that might just be, right? Ow! I thought I could just press B to drop down. I didn't realize I have to jump up. Dang it. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Here, boulder. Why am I doing that? I can just do this. It's faster. Okay, down I go. But yeah, just play that and then truly become Kratos. Okay. Away I go. Do I have one of the fire slugs? I think so. I think I got one outside. Wait, do I have to kill him to, uh... Crap, man. Yeah, <laughs> you can still hit him! No, that didn't do anything. I... I swear I pressed jump from that cloud. I swear I did. <laughs> Oh my god. No. Yeah, it was this way. Dang it. Dang it. Well, up to bed. Take care, everyone. Have a nice weekend. Will do. Appreciate you stopping by and hanging out, Azzy. Hope you have a good rest of the night. Take care there. Have amazing dreams of Zelda doing spins and summoning clouds. I know I'm probably supposed to put one of those big rocks there and then ride up, but like, I do not care. I'll do whatever feels fastest. Okay. Uh, it's all the way over here somewhere again, isn't it? Boulder. Okay. Then this way. Something down here? Yeah, there is. Okay, so then that's what opens that. Okay. There we go. Ow! Well, now I'm one-shotable by a major hit like that again. <laughs> Small key, you can open a locked door. Okay, it was an important chest. Keep on going up now. Yeah, and I'll get towards that lock. Parkour, parkour! Oops. I didn't need to do that. Okay. Then this way. I don't trust my jump. Okay. Slow and steady here. Now I go. Then head this way. Have the fire keys not kill me immediately. Please don't. Oh, and there's a thing right here. To activate. Okay, nice. If it's been recorded, can I warp using the map? Okay. There's gonna be a mini boss in this one. Looks like there might just be... Maybe there's mini-bosses for all three of these dungeons. Just not, like, the initial dungeons. But, like, this set of three, there all be mini-bosses for. Unless it counts as, like, the Shadow Lakes. I, could, I guess I did fight those in previous dungeons. Is this gonna unlock bombs? I guess now? Because I guess this is the third Link one. Yeah, that'll unlock bombs, I'm sure. Just, like... Weren't expecting my new jump height, were you? We get wrecked, man. Oh, well. I was gonna become three of them. Or not, I don't know. Oh, he has bomb shoes now.
At least that's a checkpoint. Another best viewers that I can go ahead and ban. Oh, let me just, I'm, I'm not seeing them appearing on screen anymore. Oh, maybe that's a thing that Streamlabs improved. So I get these messages, like, or these little thing bobs, the, whatever they are, little boxes around the things, the, these, I get these little boxes around those kinds of messages now that say likely ban evader restricted. So I guess if something's marked as restricted, then it automatically doesn't show up on like the on-screen chat, which would be really, really good actually, if that's a change that they made. They're not appearing on screen. Then less chance of people following like malware or scam links on my channel. Like I already try to ban them like as soon as I can and try to make it obvious like, hey, don't go to that link that you saw on screen if you don't want to like get completely screwed. But that's even better if it just doesn't appear in the first place. Same exact link too. Uh, you think Twitch would have figured out how to crack down on this stuff better by now? You would think. Oh, you're still here? Ow! I don't know. Give me this. Oh, and it doesn't fully restore me anymore. I actually have enough hearts now. Cool. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Okay, did I do it? I maybe didn't even need the smoothie. Maybe now he becomes three. No, he's done. Yeah. Bombs? Lamp oil. Rope? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you've got enough rubies. You got the bombs of my... You can use bombs by pressing A in sword fighter form. Alright, I'm probably barely gonna do that. Just like the bow, I'm barely gonna use it. Alright, let's keep on schmoovin'. Very busy pr princess things going on. Um, doesn't look like there's anything lower down that I'm missing. There's a chest that way. I should go that way first. To the dead end with chess. I'll just use him to step on over. Here. Take out this stuff for now. I don't need to use bombs, so I can just do that. Oh, but I would need to do this, I guess. I have my own bombs, too. But I don't necessarily need to do this. I have my own bombs to use. They're just more annoying. Come back when you're a little um, richer. A boom, open, end up going to it on your secondary laptop and see your secondary laptop. You care, don't care much about it anyway. Oh, well, that's an important key. So, what is the truth then? Damn you, stop flopping. There, parkour, parkour. So then, yeah, go this way. There's some weird website that offers you to buy Twitch viewers. Okay, so not malware at least, but yep. I don't know why anyone would do that. Like, some people are just like, oh, my number goes up and then I'll I'll be considered a big shot or Twitch will promote bigger streamers more. So I'll just get like fake viewers to fill my chat. So I get more real viewers. And then when I'm at a certain point, then I don't need the fake viewers anymore. I'm just going to use them as like a crutch to get up to there. Wow, this is a boss room for you. The last wiz robe wasn't a boss room. Get him. Is what some people think, which is... No. What's it? Booty bop. Maybe? Does the YouTube try to push bigger channels more? Ones with more subs? Honestly, knowing YouTube, I feel like it probably would. But yeah, there are people that buy subs. For some reason. But yeah. And yeah, generally from clicking a link, that's usually not going to happen. But sometimes they'll open like a whole bunch of extra tabs and try to run things in the background and weird stuff. Not going to know where the sound is coming from. Hey, two keys. Sweet, I have what I need. Used to have some people who would think that you bought YouTube subs too. With the amount of views and range your videos get, there's no way. I mean, I'm sure that there's... Considering most of my views and subs come from my video essays... <laughs> I can just jump on you without taking damage. Nice. I wasn't sure if that would work. Considering most of my views 
get and subs come from video essay content whereas like there's barely much of anything from playthrough stuff usually around here i sometimes do get comments on some of my playthrough parts that are like why do you have so many subs but like so little views or some people that are like wow this channel sure died didn't it like nope that's just that's just the way my channel looks <laughs> there we go and then like i don't know i need to uh i don't know how i'm gonna do this one unless it will be close enough for just the normal jump no, it's not. Can I throw bombs up like this? I don't know, man. But yeah, let's see here. So, I don't think I've ever had anybody say it in comments, but after getting like some comments like that, I am sure that there are probably some people out there that probably assume like, oh, he must have just bought like all his subs. Look at some of my playthrough videos. What? And the amount of normal views that I get on my consistent uploads. Like, what the heck? He has like... What is it now? Like 24k, something like that, subs? And only gain like a handful of views per video? It's like, no, that's that's just my playthrough stuff for you. <laughs> I put up like a Pokemon video essay and it'll usually get a whole bunch of views. I mean, it depends. Like, they have been getting less and less. Like, the uh, the BDSP one was the one that hit it off the most with over a million. And then, uh, or maybe the Pokemon Lost Your Magic one was. I don't know, but that was the biggest one in recent time. And the Legends RCS video essay got less. And then Scarlet and Violet one got less. And now my Scarlet and Violet DLC one honestly isn't popping off as much as I thought it would considering the YouTube algorithm usually goes crazy on my uh, Pokemon essays. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. I don't know what to do there. But usually they pop off, but maybe they're popping off less and less. Yeah, and that's how Guzma and I met was through YouTube. I think that he discovered me through my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX video essay. And I saw him comment on that video and I was like, whoa, that's interesting that Guzma's commenting on my videos because I knew of him before. I had listened to some of his Pokemon mashups. And I was like, that's crazy that this person that I know of, but I've never really met before is commenting on my video. And like, well, and then I started playing Bravely Default 2 shortly after, which, since that was a game I was interested in. And Guzma was interested in that too. So he started coming to the streams and then one thing led to another and now we're friends. Um, <laughs> and now I've been to his place and he's been to my place. We have traveled and seen one another, so crazy how things end up sometimes. I have no earthly idea what to do here. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, maybe if I take out that guy, I can just, like, go over. Something like that. But, yeah. Booty bop. Okay, and then... Wait. That's a place to go to, too. And that's, that's a dead end to a chest. So, I should probably go that way first. Yeah, because that one leads to the boss door. So I do have to take this one first anyway. So I'm going to have to do. Thought you knew each other longer? It's been... How many years is that now? When did Bravely Default 2 come out? Bravely Default 2 release date. February 26, 2021. So basically three and a half years now, you could say. Slash before that. Because it was with, like, with the demos of uh, Bravely Default 2 that you start stopping by here and stuff. So it probably would have been like late 2020, something like that. Maybe. Maybe something like that. I'm not sure. Um, Yeah, I remember chatting about like the Bravely Default demos and stuff like that. Bravely Default 2 demos. All right, excuse me. Yeah, you just do air, you don't do bombs. I don't have one of you guys yet, technically. Can I knock you off? And then, uh, get you that way? What? And then do I get the summon up here? Nope. It doesn't look like. Alright, yeah, this is the boss chest, so this is important to get. Got making your own remixes, like you have a Prime of the Algo remix you made that you had Harmonia listen to, but I haven't uploaded it because it's kind of meh, IMO. And I haven't had gone back to it since. They're going ham on game building, yeah, that's fair. Other messages sent? What's the other messages? Depends there. Oh, it's a Metroid game intensifies. But yeah. Whoa, I'm gonna have to read that in a hot second. Or maybe I can just read it now anyway. Know each other almost as long. Then as you can remember the tail end of your Bravely Default 2 playthrough. Okay. So, whoa. So it would have been sometime a little bit before that point. That Guzma started popping by. 
Scusi! Yeah, it's definitely been several years, though. Oh, well. Thank goodness it just goes up to that point. Screw these pots in particular. Or that pot in particular. I was trying to break them both, but never mind. It is this pot in particular. Okay. Let's see. Is the keys back here? Thankfully not. So then. Oh, where's the tree? There it is. Wait, am I gonna get stuck? I'm gonna get stuck. Wait. But I have the spider. Heck yeah. There. Why didn't I just do that from the get-go? Like, I saw the explodable things here. I thought that was what the game intended, and then I would... But this is a game where you shouldn't really care what the game intends. Where's my bat? A bat. A bat woman, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'm talking like this now. Okay. Go! Be free! Okay, maybe that wasn't the way to go. Um... Oh. Maybe I need to start from, like, on a box or something like that. I don't get enough height. Because I can't jump while I'm carrying something for some reason in this game. Okay. we. Oh, come on. Up. That is not up. That is so not up. Oh. Is it sending me up a little bit? I can't even tell. It's just really, really slowly. This one does it a whole lot faster. All right. This way we go. There we go. And then bring it around town. You better not mess with me. Please don't. Okay, there we go. Go be free. But yeah. Yeah, I saw that you posted the uh, the story there. But like, I just kind of skimmed over it without reading all that much of it because I've heard the story before. And I knew that the message wasn't directed towards me. That was the explanation to Wildcat about what happened there. But I remember the tale, the great and mighty tale. Um, but yeah, coming up on almost four years now, sub anniversary in two days, almost four years of subage. Oh, geez, long time. Let's go into the pit. <laughs> 